Hi everyone, welcome to Pairings. I'm Chantal. And I'm Susan. And today we're joined by our friend, Suzette Riddick, and we're going to discuss her book, Forever Yours. Yay! Welcome, hey. Suzette. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So Suzette, you have written, I was just asking her <laughs> before we started recording, how many books? Um, and you said, you think like 12, 13 books? Yes, somewhere around there, yeah. <laughs> and and wow. um, like, when did you start writing? Um, I started writing in 2009. Really? 2009, yes. And you, so, oh gosh, so you've been at, I mean, I feel like, because I, I was like thinking about it, like I said, I was, so I was on your website because I was like, how many books has she written? Because I feel like you have so many books. <laughs> and, and you do, you have 12, 13. Yeah. Um, and this Forever Yours is your newest one. Can I just tell you, first of all, I loved that Josephine, that she um, was a chemist that had her own business and is like doing, you know, making hair products. Um, because I will say that it reminded me of my daughter who wants to be a chemical engineer, but she loves to cook and like the chemistry of cooking. And so like, as I was reading, and I actually told her, I'm like, I'm reading this book that's <laughs> a chemist making, you know, making these hair products. But I loved it because your hair is always phenomenal. And as I was reading it, I'm like, I, I felt like, I'm like, Oh, I'm like, Suzette knows so much about this because your hair is always, it's just gorgeous. I, I can't, I, I, I've i never seen you have a bad hair day. No, oh, I have them, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have never seen them. You are always just so stunning. So. No, thank you. But what was the inspiration for, for that? Well, actually I used to tinker in making my own DIY hair products. No, you did so, not. Yeah, just oh, I for love myself that. and wow. um, a couple, you know, of my co-workers, like I would make um, hair oils for them. Um, and even now I still kind of think, I really don't have the time, but you know, like I still make like hair oils, like um, for my scalp. And then there's an oil that I make out of hemp seed oil uh -huh. mm -hmm. with my makeup. Ooh. It's MC oil and um, lavender oil oh, and rose oil. I love that. It really melts the makeup off. Does it's, it? It does. So, okay, so we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put the book aside for a minute. Can we talk? <laughs> Okay, so here's my here's my thing is like I have been having and Susan knows this, like I have been getting like so dry like almost like almost eczema under here, which I've never had that issue. And I I mean I drink water like crazy. I you know like am I, so like hemp seed oil. Like I <laughs> Yeah, hemp seed oil. It's really good. And it doesn't clog the pores. That's why I like okay. it. It's like one of the oils that doesn't clog the pores. Right. So it's really user friendly. But yeah, that's what that's what I. What I <gasps> okay, you're, we're gonna you're gonna need to email me some. <laughs> some no, I'll get you the rest. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay, so back to the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so she, I love that she has this business, and I'm even more excited to know that you dabble in in hair products. Yeah, that's so yeah. awesome. Yeah, because that was going to be my question when I was reading it. I was just like, mm. she she either she's either doing this or she's done a ton of research because like this is like, I can't even have the word. It's just like, it was like so thorough. Like you yes, knew, like, yes, yeah, it was yes. really thorough. Yeah, like I felt the same way because I, I, and I was like, well, Suzette has gorgeous hair, so she knows like the, you know, like, but it was, yeah, like I, it felt like really like this is And I just, happening. I loved her dad being so supportive of her business and, mm -hmm. you know, with, with, with like trying the products. And I just, I love supportive families in stories. Yes. And I made, I made a note here about her relationship with her sisters and yes. with her dad and, 
But the, the dynamic with the sisters is such a real dynamic. Oh, yes. Like my sisters and I are like, some of us are very, very, very close in age. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, there's that, you know how to push each other's buttons and you know yes. how to get in each other's skin, but you also know you're going to be there for each other and show up and support like she did, even though she was tired. She didn't want to go to the, the community center. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. In the, which I kind of just say, I'm jumping ahead, but I also love how she met, how she met Jamal. Um, but I just, I love the supportive family so much. Yeah. And yeah. And what I liked, like you said, Susan, is I liked how real it was because yeah. like, you know, they did, they all, like, they all kind of got on each other's nerves, but when push comes to shove, they've got each other's back. Like, yeah, that was, I mean, and, and like, I love, I love that, like the, the flaws mm-hmm. that we, that we saw in all of them. Um, and, you know, like, that's just, it, 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 yeah, I, I really, I really liked that. I was, it was the same thing, Susan. I was the same, I was like, the family dynamics are such a, an awesome. I love writing flawed characters. That is just, because to me, it makes them real, you yeah. know? Yes. It makes them three-dimensional. Um, yeah. It really so I, love, does. I love, I love, I love flawed characters. Yeah. It makes them, it, like you said, it makes them real. It makes them human. Like nobody's per- like, I feel like I could go and like hang out with these people and yeah. they're very authentic, real. Yeah. 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 I think that's why romance gets such a bad rap, at least years ago, because they, most people who don't read romance, they think of it as like, oh, these two perfect people, they want to fall in love and live happily ever after. Um, so that's, I think that's another reason why I push myself like to write. Yeah. characters to make yeah. them believable yeah. and relatable yeah yeah because Jamal like you know like there were I was a few times I was like dude like yeah come on <laughs> <laughs> I know we're always afraid come we don't want to give too much away I know, I know, but we don't want to talk about it too <laughs> like but it was she- yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say when she did her presentation for him, and he's operating under the assumption oh. of you know, oh. what he's operating under, and I was just like, I want to cry for this girl. I and, did too. But, oh, I was so mad at you. You did that oh, so I was well. So mad at I, him. Yay! But, oh. but then, like you, you knew, you understood why he, you know, like so. Yeah. You get it, but yeah. I oh, just, I was, I was ticked off <laughs> at him. Yes. <laughs> I was. That's good. I, Emo emotion. So that's good. Oh that's yeah. No. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I was and I and I have to say, yeah, I, I was happy with the way she handled it when she was just like enough. Mm-hmm. She yeah. like I was just like, oh yes, you yes, yes. Like I <laughs> I also like <laughs> when she finally did, she saw her sister, and that's when Yes. I also I felt like that also spoke so much about the relationship that she could take her defenses down right exactly. there, where mm-hmm. other people might not have that relationship with their family members, where they might still have to, you know, try right. to keep on that brave yeah. face or keep the defenses up. But yeah, it was just so. I just you're right. A hug. I yeah. know. Yes, <laughs> that was that was, and that was really and again because you know we've all been there, haven't we? We've all been there where we're like just really like you know in a fetal position inside Mm -hmm. but we keep you know keep it together keep it together on the uber ride keep it together you know (laughs) like we're keeping it together and yeah as soon as you see you know someone that you Mm -hmm. love and and you can then it just all it all goes out the window yeah yeah Yeah, you did that really well, Suzette. Like that was. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I also love that she had a childhood crush on him. It's like, oh, yes. I knew you from way back then, and um, so I always like that. I, I yeah. like that, you know, when it's like, you know, you meet years earlier, and you know, it's just kind of reconnect now. And then the way that they like literally, <laughs> she literally bumped into him. It was. And then what happened after that? Oh my gosh! With, oh, mm. I don't want to say too much. Stop. So, but that was just. I went on an emotional ride with her. And it was so good, and I yeah. love their their chemistry together. When you know, 
it's it was sensual and just just really well done yeah 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 but (laughs) ex-girlfriend hot mess hot mess hot mess and yeah hot mess but can, what can, was she a fun character to write though, with her she doing was, those things? She was like, like I, I like writing like evil people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was really fun. She was yeah. Brittany was fun. She was fun. <laughs> there really wasn't like yeah. She really didn't have a whole lot. Like there was no like redeeming value. And like no. you know, she was just like she. She yeah. and you know like. I hate to say it, but I feel like I've known some people like that. Like, you know, where they're just, yeah. it's just all about like, mm-hmm. you know, it's all about what I can do what yeah. for me. And like, and like, just, she was just so, you know, I mean, I really don't like to use the word because I always feel like you need to reframe things, but she was manipulative. Like, like you yeah. know, I really feel it's an accurate word for her. <laughs> so where did you get the, um, you know, kind of the inspiration, the idea for, for these couple or these couples, these characters, this story? Well, actually I had, um, believe it or not, I start, started this book back in like 2016 or 17. And then other projects came up and I had to put them, you know, on the back burner. Then I wrote the um, night series. And so the third book, Julio, he yes. up and with the middle sister, you know, being a culinary artist, when I was trying to come up with, you know, a partner for him, like I just kept coming back to this character. So I really wrote the book out of order because it really was supposed to start with Joey's story and then pick up on the other two sisters. Um, oh, okay. So, you know, when I was writing um, Stuck at Nights, like she just kept drawing and pulling at me. So I was like, okay, God, how, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pull this off? How am I going to take this character from this book and plop her in this book and then start to do series? But, you know, that's the beauty of being an indie. Like I get to build my whole yes. world. Yes. And, um, yeah, like there's characters from other books that I brought into this book. So um, that's just that's just the beauty. Like I, it, it just started off as writing, moving on and writing another series with another group, you know, of characters. And I thought it was fascinating to write um, a story with girls that have boy names. Yeah. Yes, um, not I that that's that. a new thing, but. I really hadn't seen like a ton of romance um, novels with daughters that were motherless and that the father raised them. So yeah, I wanted to do something a little different with that. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of going to life of its own. Yeah. And I, and I love when, um, and Susan, we were talking about this not too long ago, but like, you know, like that, when you have characters from other series yes. or like, I mean, I, I like to me, that's as a reader, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Like that's, you know, that's the fun of like, Oh, wait a minute. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like, oh. the, I, I've gotten that feedback from like folks who've left reviews on Amazon was like, Oh, it was so good to catch up with so-and-so. And, and it's so funny. Like how readers will let you know, well, is so-and-so going to get a book next? Yeah. So, <laughs> So everyone is asking for Tracy and Eve's story, which <laughs> yes, which I do have. I do do have, you? I do have a plan for them. Yes. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to know is uh, oh, I forget the dad's name. Gar- Garrison. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I'm like I wanted his story. <laughs> yeah, actually, talking about taking characters and plopping them in other stories. I I was in an anthology. Um, and the book that I did with that is Chasing, Chasing After Love. Uh-huh. And he actually gets a little cameo in that story oh. where he's kind of interested in the heroine's mother in that story. So, yeah. Aww. 
yeah. sort of like the end of the book, it kind of is a little hint that they're going to get together. Yes, so. yes. And that's what, because I was like, oh, because I felt like, I'm like, he need, he needs, yeah. he's, yeah. you know, he's, he's, his girls are grown, they're yes. doing their thing. And like, I kind of felt like. He needs love too. Yeah, like he, it's time, it's his time. It's time, it's his time. Yeah, yeah. So his story is next. His story is next. Nice. I love it. Sammy, <laughs> Sammy, she needs a little bit of, you know, I allude to her getting therapy. So she, yeah. needs, <laughs> she needs to get herself together before she can be ready for love. So, yeah. <laughs> so by time, her time comes, she's yeah. going to have, you know, evolved a little bit as a person. So, yeah. But I love that about, I mean, you know, because she, like, she was just put in, I mean, it's hard, you know, she was, yeah. it, she was essentially a parentified child mm -hmm. and, you know, like, and so she, I, you know, she just, she didn't know. And like, and I liked, I loved how dad like acknowledged that, like mm -hmm. kind of once he, like, you know, I don't, I'm not sure, like, I don't think he realized it. And then he like was like, oh, wait a minute, this did happen. Mm -hmm. And um, I loved that he, he acknowledged that and was like, you know, this wasn't good for, for me, it wasn't, or for you girls, it wasn't good for her, you know, I mean, it's, right. it's like, I, I liked, I, I, I love that where it's like, oh, you know, like, and, and we know that, you know, he was doing the best he could and she's doing the best she, you know, but yeah. that's, that happens sometimes. So I loved that she was going to therapy too. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Because you know what, like, it's such an important thing. Like, it's so important to mm -hmm. work through that, like, you know, and all of, you know, we all have all that childhood junk that right. <laughs> messes with us. <laughs> and just the trauma of losing her mother at such yes. an, yes. you know, such a young age. Such a young you know? age. And then taking on so much responsibility for her siblings. Um, yeah. You know, like, just, yeah. So, um, yeah. To be a kid really herself. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like she... Oh, wouldn't that be fun to see her... Oh, that would be fun seeing her like kind of reliving her childhood and do <laughs> Let's see. And Alex and Joey like on her, like, you know, you're you need to come home at a decent hour. <laughs> the tables are turned. <laughs> that would be, yeah. How would you handle that? Because she was, whoo, she was something else. Yeah. Oh, and she, yeah, she got she got mean. Yeah. She got, yeah, but it was. Yeah, because when I I was like, oh, yeah, she, when, <laughs> yeah, Have, she has to be right about everything all the time. It's her way or no way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it was like again such an enjoyable, um, just the dynamics and 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 you know, and I feel like also too, um, I mean those sisters like they really like I coming from coming from a family of all girls like I felt like oh I like I could relate to these sisters you know I loved the relationship with Jamal and his cousin like I I love oh, yes you no know, I loved yeah. that like he you know and I loved how he you know I, that again that like that strained relationship he had with his mother mm -hmm. um but, and, and, and I liked how we kind of like throughout the book, you saw more and more about what happened mm -hmm. that like, you know, like you kind of got these, you know, thread, thread, <clears throat> yeah, you thread yeah. that through so nicely. And I, but I loved how he created, he created his own family. Like he created a yes. family for himself. Mm -hmm. You know, he was he didn't get what he needed from his mom, mm -hmm. but he got it in these other other people and i and i loved that relationship with his cousin because that that was such a sibling relationship yes yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah so that was awesome i also loved how eve was so like you know all about like how she the way she connected with joey just like mm -hmm. immediately yeah and like, she's got her back through this thing and i, <laughs> I like how like chantal said you know he was the relationship with the cousins but also her with joey i kind of felt was like mm -hmm. yeah 
not like a sister relationship, but it's like, this is like, this is somebody. Like, this is my girl. Heart. Like, I need exactly. to look out for her because you're my cousin and I love you, but dude, like. Yeah. 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 Like, you're a little sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, she was so protective of her because she really liked her and she didn't, you know, yeah. want yeah. you know to kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I like that too, because, and she was like, yeah, well, and she was like, she was, she like, let him know, like, she wasn't like, beating around the bush or anything. She was like, you know, we, I know who you are, and I know what you, you you what you do, (laughs) exactly, and I like her, and you know, and I want to support her, and you know, and so, you know, a little less of you, buddy, like, you know. (laughs) But I felt like he needed to hear that. Like he, oh and he, yeah, he definitely needed someone like to keep him grounded. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he definitely yeah. needed someone to kind of. And he was him accountable. Make him accountable. Yeah, yeah. And he, but he was also in a place where he was ready to hear it too. Because sometimes, right, people aren't in that place. But he, he was at that point where he was ready to like hear it, mm-hmm. even if he didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I really enjoyed this book and so what is the next one in the series the next one will be fixer up love right okay yeah and that's going to be garrison's story that's great i know i'm I'm so happy and so and when does that look like it's going to come out (laughs) not to put any pressure on you (laughs) suzanne (laughs) sometime this fall i won't give a date but (laughs) it'll be in the fall nice nice that's exciting yeah that, that's the that's the goal we'll see if i <laughs> <laughs> and so will this be like a trilogy or um do you see it going because i i actually would like to see eve too yeah they're going to get their story but i might <laughs> I, I will probably make it like maybe a spinoff series like the okay. and family and friends or something like that because tracy yeah. definitely Story. And you know who else story I want to write? Who? I want to write Gypsy story, the young girl from the from the hair salon. Oh, yeah. I would love yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I really. She wanna... has a good. She she's has a good. Got... Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you need to write that. <laughs> love, love to write her story. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh um, the owner of the salon um. Duana. Duana. Yes. Yeah. I was like, what is her name? Yeah. Her she story. Didn't really, she didn't really hit me. As... No? Hmm. Oh, I wanted to kind of see what was going on with the barber. I know. We'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe a short little. Um... Maybe a little. Maybe a holiday. Oh, there you go. Like a holiday yeah. novella. Or... Yeah. We'll see. We'll but just no. keep having all these stories like. And that's the thing that's so crazy. It's like for my other series, I have so many series that can be spinoff series from that. Yeah. Um, the one thing I, it, previous books, I have like female characters that were all like bad girls. Like I really want to do like a bad girl series, like turn good, like where, like I think they were kind of, they, none of them was as bad as um, Brittany. Oh, like, Brittany. Uh, yeah, Brittany. <laughs> Yeah, no, she can't be in the story. But I, I have a, a couple characters that I would like to do. A, kind of like I a think character. you should, because I yeah. love that idea of, you know, how are they? Even the bad girls, yeah. Like bad yeah. girls. Story. Yeah, I love that. Well, and you know, it's funny because Susan and I were writing a, st- we were writing a story and there's like this one character in it. It's, it was just a short story. And Susan, <laughs> Susan was like, I kind of think we have, like, I kind of don't want him to be too bad because I kind of think I want him to be the hero in another <laughs> story. But it's like, okay. Horrible. No, I did that with one of my characters. She was, oh, she was evil. And it's um, one of my stories about, I have two extra stories with um, characters that are over the age of 40. Yeah. And um, she's the mother from one of the books and she was like, really I mean she was I mean people hated her but when I she got a chance not me she told her story <laughs> when she got a chance to tell her story you know with why she was the way she was like people absolutely fell in love with her when they found out her story. I mean because she was oh, she was bad. 
Oh. Because like within the African American community, there's like this whole light, dark skin. Yeah. Thing, yeah. How it plays out. And, you know, she was fair complexion. Her son was dark skin and she treated him bad. And it just, oh, it was, yeah. Yeah. So she, you know, like people actually hated her. Like they hated her. And, um, you know, one day I was like, I was thinking like, well, why is she that way? Like what happened to her to make yeah. her that way? So I wrote her story and people actually, that's one of my, I think that's one of my highest rates. I think I may have like one three star and all the rest are like five, five, five years, but yeah. And people were like, I cannot believe you redeemed her. So, so you can make. Oh, so maybe yeah. Brittany. Yeah, maybe Brittany has a chance. <laughs> but so should we, do we want to show our, what we paired? Sure. Okay. I'm reading this and it's like middle of a heat wave. Yes. So. <laughs> In one of the scenes, Joey is drinking peach flavored water and I found some. Oh, so yay! There's this company. Oh. I'm not sure if it's actually just like a thing they say or whether it's actually true. So I'm not going to name the company, but they apparently make wine and then, or they take the, the, the parts of the grapes that are left over after making the wine and they infuse them with water. So apparently this has antioxidants in it. Oh. So I don't know if that's actually true, <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds really good. <laughs> but I had it in the fridge and I was like, wait a minute, she's drinking this and I have some. So so, Yay. so I got my peach flavored water here. And then when they were having lunch and on the menu, they had the, the melon, um, the melon sorbet. Oh yeah. So I made, I didn't have melons, but I have strawberries, frozen strawberries. So I tried to make strawberry sorbet. Ooh. It's frozen solid. <laughs> <laughs> and it might not be exactly perfect, but, um, so it's just, I tried. Oh, that looks good. It's good. It's just, it's just strawberries. And well, I found a recipe that said three ingredients, strawberries, a teeny bit of warm water, and then a little bit of honey if you wanted to sweeten it. Oh. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to exactly look this way. There's looked a little creamier. Oh, <laughs> this isn't, um, this is a little darker because it, I threw in um, some frozen blueberries too. Oh, I was going to say, I like the color. I think it's, it's very really pretty. It would definitely stain if you got it on things. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you make? So I, I too was because it was, you know, so stinking hot was like, I needed something cool. So my drink and my ice all melted and, and I was inspired by, um, because Joey's company is uh, naturally lavender. And so I was inspired by lavender. So I made some lavender, um, lavender infused um, oh, that's, lemonade. That's so pretty. And Look at the well, we put, well, we put food, my daughter and I, <laughs> so we put food coloring. And so that it's, mm -hmm. it's actually, um, it's actually a little more pink, actually. Oh. The, and we, because we wanted it to be lavender. So um, yeah, so we, so I actually like, yeah, like I got like the edible lavender or the whatever, it's the cook grade at lavender and we did the, nice. um, we infused it and I, I actually hand squeezed the lemons and I mean, oh my gosh, but it's actually really, it's really good. Um, yeah, it was really it looks good. good. Um, it does. And so then again, because I was, inspired and like with the lemon and the lemonade um so then I did I don't I'm always afraid I'm gonna I we made lemon squares with um um with some lavender on it that's very so pretty we made yeah so and you know and you know my daughter really is the one who helped me with this and so this is the first time we've made lemon squares and so nice. she was like I think we need to make She's like, I don't know, just she's like going like this to smell the, and she's like, I think we need more lemon in there. I think we need more. I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So she, <laughs> I'm like, I wouldn't have known. They look um, yummy. Yes. 
so but yeah I kept as I was like reading I the lavender I kept thinking lavender lavender because you know and I she, love you, lavender yeah. yeah I love can you tell <laughs> well and it's so good and you know yeah this is really good like I mean I had never had like lavender infused mm. um anything and it's really good it it's is. Really I have some lavender honey. We went to um, Petler's Village and it's a little store um, they call one side is savory and the other side is sweet. The one side oh. is all like oils and vinegars and then the other side is all honeys and they have all these different flavor honeys and one of them is um, lavender. lavender yeah. honey, and it's so good. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. this is fat. I mean, like we'll make this again. Like, you know, my daughter and I were like, cause we were taste testing it like earlier. Um, cause you know, if it was terrible, I didn't want to be like, oh my God, like taking a sip and be like, ah. <laughs> um, but this too, they said, and I didn't do this surprise, surprise. Cause I usually do, but they said, this is really good. Like you can put like, you know, like vodka in it or like mm. a champagne or like you can, you know, you can kick it up a notch. I was thinking about that when you said, I was like, ooh, I wonder how that would taste like maybe like sparkling water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, Suzette, thank you so much for joining us and like coming on and sharing, um, you know, sharing your story. And um, and thank you for, you know, writing such flawed, fun character. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Lots of fun. I, miss you guys. I, know. I know I know can't wait to see you in person you know be able to like hug you and and open. smell you and that was because <laughs> as you know Suzette always smells so stinking good and don't you think I didn't I didn't pick up on Joey and her Chanel like I caught that <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> oh that's my thing oh, I love Chanel I know because oh and you always smell and King of Prussia. Yeah. Oh, oh God. I went there. Oh, God. <laughs> I went there. I spent so much money. <laughs> That's why you always smell so good. I know. <laughs> and I work hard. I work you hard. Do. So I, I deserve you it. deserve it. Yes. I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I love, I love Chanel. <laughs> But we'll leave your website and your information um, in the notes below so people can check you out, check out your books, follow you, follow you on social media. And well, we'd love to have you back at some future date to talk about another one of your books. And thank Sounds you good. again so much for spending some time with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having thank me. You. <laughs> um, and thank you everyone for joining us and watching us and um we'll see you and, next time yeah <laughs> <laughs> bye bye